Yo, hey yo, never get caught holding the grams Never take a bitch word over your mans Stay close to him, never let him know where you live Never let him get familiar with your dough or your kids Put the toast to him, always stay quiet and humble Don't be scared to take it to the knife or the gun in the rumble I can show you how to get your neck broke Stretch coke in the middle of the ocean on a mean duplex boat Look here, there is no competitor Z9 with the spaceship doors that open up regular Get it on with the hard plastic My 16's have niggas feeling like they dripping off acid Then ain't no nigga gonna tell me I can't go get him money over there. I don't I don't care. Shout to Surreal Mookie, yo, no doubt. What's good, y'all? Surreal keeping it real, giving that better rap media news and comedy hit if you can. No, just playing if y'all can man, just hit that like share. Alright, yo, let's check this out, man. Now, this blog is for people with open minds, okay? This is a very unbiased blog. Let's start here. Now, everybody knows that, you know what I'm saying, some of those messages that Miss Hustle use could be fake or not be fake, right? We're going to leave it there. Now, because some of them possibly can be fake, right then a lot of people don't believe okay so i'm gonna jump in on this one and usually i don't i just sit back and listen but with hustle being the source allegedly the source of um the tay rock situation you know there was no proof but people still ran with that and i'm talking years after they're still seeing it whether it's in battles or whatever the person actually said that they didn't do anything but it's still a rumor that still goes on now and everybody feels like because she didn't come with her proof that she lied okay some people still believe that it happened so when we speed it up now to the easy situation where these messages are coming out and it's like okay are they real are they fake once again hustle is behind it and it's like because um she's not showing the actual proof proof which means the person that sent her the messages because the messages easy never sent to her she said it easy didn't send them to me somebody else sent it to me you know they're saying she's lying now you have people that's going to believe it and you're going to have people that's not which is fair everybody's entitled to their own opinion however you have people that feel like okay her word is not credible but then you have people that feel like why would hustle just be lying yes women are known to get petty and we fight dirtier than men it's a fact but you have to sit and have an open mind about this whole situation. Everybody honestly just needs to like really start putting the puzzle pieces together. And whatever you get out of it is just what you get out of it. It's all about your perception on it and what you take from it. And that's really it. I feel like Hustle knows a lot. And it's just not about easy. She's been in this industry for a little while. And she will she will play chess with you so you know y'all got to take that into consideration as well and just like she said on the two real for battle rap she don't give a fuck she really don't so when she's coming down to that level she could be dangerous so y'all might see more things popping out i don't know but you just can't say she's a liar because i'm seeing a lot of that going around and that's not right but then again once once again, excuse me, you are entitled to your very own opinion. So you can either believe it or you don't. Either way, the messages are there. And that's all I have to say. So the question I ask is, do you feel like people don't believe her because she didn't use or bring Fred to the battle with Tay Rock? Is the question I wanted to ask. Being <clears throat> that I've been watching Battle Rap for a long time, I can tell you that Rock and Hustle have a love-hate relationship with each other. So, you know, at the time when all of that was going on, she might have been mad at him, maybe was even digging for the information. You know how, you know, battle rappers get dirty. They go digging. But um, I feel like my, my personal opinion about Fred, um, I don't think there was a Fred, but I could be wrong. Once again, I'm not in that circle. I don't know. I feel like um, people don't believe her because yeah maybe because of the battle and only because i've heard people say they didn't believe her because when she battled him fred didn't come out um you know the 
the transgender person didn't come out, this, that, and the third. But then again, you know, time heals all wounds. They had so much time to talk, to um, to make up. So if there was a fridge, maybe she felt like it, it was a dead issue because so many people dragged it out for so long, like I said in the beginning. Um, it could be so many reasons why, if Fred does exist, that she didn't bring him out. And if Fred didn't exist, that's why she didn't bring him out. So, yeah, I believe um, a lot of people do hold her accountable for that. Um, you know, but it's, it, it is messed up. You know, that once you... Um, you come out and make an um, accusation like that, and then you don't have the proof to back it up, it sucks, you know, um, which is in every situation that's going on now. I feel like this, just because um, there's no video, no audio, um, whatever, what, whatever proof you want to consider proof, doesn't mean it didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to put that out there. Um, do I believe this whole easy situation? That's my very own opinion. Um, and I'd rather keep it to myself. But just know that um, it's a lot of fuck shit going on throughout this whole thing. And everybody just really needs to put the puzzle pieces together. And if you get what you get, that's just what you're going to get. Um, I listen to a lot of the bloggers talking about it. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy. What do you think? I mean, honestly, if nothing happened, he should have been, came out and did a live. Um, I know personally, he don't have to prove nothing to anybody. No, he don't. But, you know what I'm saying? My thing is, if nothing happened, this should have been scratched off already. I understand that. And, you know, um, I feel like also with him not um, going live and, you know, talking about the issue or addressing the issue um a lot of people are losing the respect for easy and i've heard it i've seen it inside you know other people's blogs and the messages and everything like that um you know it's because of who he is so they expected more of him you know what i'm saying so i i really don't know why he's um why he's doing what he's doing i don't know if he's trying to play chess i don't know why he hasn't shown his face yet um, or addressed any of the bloggers like he said he would, you know, and that's not alleged because he said it. Um, it's just, you know, it just sucks, and I feel like it, it's it's getting old, honestly, because so many people are talking about it, and it just got drug out this long um, to the point where, like, honestly, if he goes live, I'm going to sleep type of thing because it's like it's it's so it's so crazy. That's only thing that everybody's talking about right now is easy the block captain and um he definitely does have the al algorithm moving whether he likes it or not i mean it this like i said this whole thing is just crazy and um i really wish that he would have you know just came on you know the next day you know whether like you know i know his father's there or whatever he still could have popped up and been like yo it is what it is. I'm not, you know, it's Father's Day. I'm going to spend time with my family. You know, I know the battle just happened last night, but I'm going to get to y'all, whatever the case may be, and jumped off. Everything, it wouldn't even went this far. But like I said, I don't know what the whole situation is with him, but he just, I just wish that he comes on already because this is really getting tiring. And I know I cannot be the only one tired of hearing about Easy every time you turn YouTube on. It's ridiculous. Do you feel like right now, if he went live, let's say right now, would it help him? At, at this point, I don't even know. I mean, it's, a, it's on easy in how he comes off and what he says. Um, I, I just really don't. I'm not him, so I don't know. And I'm not like, you know, I know you're a fan of easy. We sit here, we watch, you know, battle rap. I'm a fan of Easy. You Easy has a lot of fans and it's not like okay, we're we're biased and stuff like that. It has nothing to do with that. It's just I honestly don't know what's going to help him at this point because he had so much time, you know, to confront the issue. Um I just see it as if he comes on now, everybody watching is going to be looking for something. And it's like everything that he says it's either going to mean everything 
or mean nothing. That's a strong statement. Um, now, I've seen a lot of battle rappers, right, going at him, joking, right? Now, let's say I'm cool with you, and I do one joke. But you know I'm joking, the one joke. These battle rappers keep going and joking, whether it's on live, interviews, Twitter spaces, they keep speaking about it like they know something that we don't. They absolutely do, and that's why they are doing it. Um, you know, either they were there, they have a, you know, a, a source that they trust, or um, they just going off of the stuff that we're going off of. Like, why aren't you showing your face? So they're speculating like, okay, something happened because you're not showing your face. So they're gonna, they're trying to like, you know, make the mouse come out of the hole. Um, and that's, you know, picking at them, picking at them, picking at them. But it could be either way. It could either be they absolutely know that something happened or just like we're waiting to see what happened. You know, it could, it could be either or. But um, I definitely see that a lot of um, battle rappers are coming at him. And I mean, not for nothing, they, they really are saying something happened. Like when you it's when you're listening to them they're not even trying to dance around it they're literally saying something happened and you know it could be why they are antagonizing this man at this point but that's all i can say as far as that now the battle rappers right you know what i'm saying they're not even saying allegedly us bloggers out of respect we're at least having an open mind and saying allegedly. Now, we're getting more hate from the easy uh, fans than the battle rappers. And it's crazy to me because we're leaving that door open, or should I say window open, to at least have an open mind. Right. And, um, <clears throat> okay, for one, the reason why the bloggers are saying allegedly is because y'all don't know. Um... And when y'all do put certain puzzle pieces together um, and put out what y'all feel makes sense, um, even if it's just a little bit of something that um, Easy to Block's um, fans don't like, they, they are, and at this point it's ridiculous, but like I told you, their opinions don't matter because they don't pay our bills. Um, they, are, they are entitled to it, though. They can say whatever they want, just like you can. Um, just like Piper Boy, Angry Fan, um, Too Real for Battle Rap, um, Adept, um, Battle True, Battle Boo. Everybody could say DM, DMV, D, D, DME. DME Detroit. Everybody um, can say what they want. And you're, you guys are going to have... Um, oh, don't get it don't get it messed up. They're going hard on these battle rappers too. They really are. Um, it's just y'all take it a little bit more personal because, you know, you guys are not saying he did it. Y'all only, you know, putting everything together from this blog, that blog, um, this tweet, that tweet. So, you know, they're just protecting somebody that, you know, I guess they, they really care about. I mean, to me, I would think Easy's paying their bills or, you know what I'm saying, messing with them the way they going hard. You know, um, it's like at one point I respected it because it's like, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying, you already know who my favorite battle rapper is. Um, but I don't see myself going that far. Um But I, I can respect the to just be like, you know, dang, you know, y'all don't even y'all don't even know what's going on, but to, you know, be harassing people and trying to tell you how to blog and what to blog and I'm hearing this from all the different bloggers that's crazy that's crazy to me I would never sit there and um just go I, I hear a lot about Tay Rock yes that's my favorite male battle rapper and I would never like I've heard so many rumors about Tay Rock and I'm not going on people's you know I'm not going on their blogs and their DMs and just going crazy. That's nuts. And I feel like, and you can agree or disagree, that with them going the way that they're going, they're making it worse. I mean, you're absolutely right. Like, you got DME sitting out there calling, I don't know, the E... What are they calling these groups now? The um, E-Hive. The E-Hives, <laughs> um, the E-Fans. They're literally telling certain bloggers... 
This is not true. How do you know? How do y'all know it's not true? Were well, y'all there? Y'all sitting here saying, no, Easy didn't holler at Remy, or no, Easy wouldn't do that. Were you, do you actually know Easy? Were you there? Um, no. I'm pretty sure y'all wasn't, but y'all such a fan that y'all do anything to clear his name. Y'all actually hurting it. And you got people that's right now I on mean, certain you're, you're bloggers. A, you're, a, you're, a, you're a fan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, I'm you a respect, fan. You I'm, respect I, his pen, but you're not going crazy. I'm not going to go crazy without no proof. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, these fans are jumping on bloggers, uh, DMs, um, YouTube channels, comments, and either they're harassing them. They tell them take it down. They tell they're even unsubscribing, which I'm, I can care less I about mean, that. You but you know what? Like I said, they go hard for that dude. That's their job. But you can either entertain it or you don't. You know, you just still gotta just put out your information. Continue to say unbiased. You know what I'm saying? Just put out your put out your content, and that's all you can do. You're going to have haters regardless. Um, it just sucks that it had to be in this situation that. People are really um, taking it to the level like either they're their easy's their brother, cousin, like they're related or they have some relations with this guy. I'm saying like that's how hard they're going. Um, I just feel like, you know, at the end of the day, you are right. They was not there. They do not know what happened just like we don't. And the same way that y'all are putting out your opinion, everybody has a right to their very own. So you cannot just go on blogs and, you know, being disrespectful, you know, when, I, I mean, I, I can't really speak for anybody else, but there's no disrespect over here. So, you know, y'all can't just be coming over here, there, 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 and just wilding out about the situation that you have no idea about, just like we don't. Only thing you can do is speculate, put the puzzle pieces together, and get what the hell you get out of it. If these Easy fans, e hives, um, you know the 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 ballers, whatever you want to call them. If they feel like nothing happened, fine, nothing happened. But the way y'all going at it, it looks weird. Like, calm down. Like, calm down for real. Calm down. I think personally, honestly, they're going a lot more harder. Okay. Than Easy is. I'm pretty sure Easy's watching these blogs. Some of them are actually giving a thumbs up because he's also a blogger. He's a battle rapper and an actor. He does all this, so he understands our position. Yeah, they're going harder. He hasn't even shown his face, so of course they, you know, they're going harder. But you know, like I said, you can't let that distract you from what you have to do. Um, neither should the rest of the bloggers. I'm sure, you know. Um, it you know it's just like once there's a hiccup the whole chest caves in it's like you're going it's like so many things are going to keep coming out so many different things are going to you know keep coming out and it just sucks because i can only imagine um how all the parties spill in this situation whether it's true or it's not it just it's it sucks it really does suck because you have um so much promise you know what I'm saying? From him being a battle rapper, from Remy being who she is in her position, and, you know, within the blink of an eye, you know, it, it could be gone just like that. And, you know, it's it's terrible when it hit outside of battle rap media. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's like, you can't control that now. It's so much explaining to do. At this point, it's like, yo, do I even... Do I even show up? <laughs> it's like, what the... Yo, it, it got out of control. It really got out of control. Now, my thing is, um, you know, with Easy, do you think him attacking first on Twitter instead of showing his face or going live was the right idea? Or the right approach that he should have did? It's his mindset. It's what's going through his mind. You have to think about it. Like I said, it's the parties that's involved here. Um, let's just say the allegations are true. You know, if if he hasn't shown face, is because he really cares about this this woman. 
You know what I'm saying? He's looking at she has more to lose than he does. If it didn't happen, I, like I said, he could be playing chess as to why he's not showing his face and he's going to Twitter and, you know, he's he's poking his finger. You know what I'm saying? He's not giving everybody the whole hand. He's poking his finger. So you could he could be in that mindset like, damn, I fucked up. Or maybe he feel like he didn't fucked up. But damn, we got caught. And now I can't show face because I really care about her. She has more to lose than I do. Or I ain't do shit. Ain't nothing happened. But fuck it. Since they want to put that narrative out there, I'm going to spin it. I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. So whatever is in his mindset is the reason why he has not shown his face. Um, but like I said, at this point, even if it's not true, it just went so far. Like... I'm there's like I watch a couple of different channels that have nothing to do with battle rap and they are talking about it. You know, um I told you that earlier when you got out of work. This it's 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 just insane to me. And if it was me, and I ain't no grown ass man, but you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm a strong black woman, but if it was me, I would want to crawl up under a rock because it's like regardless, this shit got out of hand. You know what I'm saying? So how can I approach this whole thing? What am I going to say? Like I said, everything that he says and does is going to be criticized, whether it's good criticism or bad criticism, it's going to be criticized. And it sucks. It really sucks because he's saying nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But then it got this far. You know what I mean? And, you know... Here on Piper Boy's blog, when he says Easy is concerned about his career, um, th th that right there, you know, allegedly, he said that to Piper Boy. I wasn't in that conversation. I don't know, but let me put it in this perspective: If you said that to Piper Boy, and you didn't do anything, why would you be saying you're not? I mean, why would you say that you're worried about your career? Could something have happened, or? Because he waited so long, right, and he sees the explosion, and he sees that it got outside of battle rap, he's looking at it like, damn, me sitting back not even showing my face now, it got out of control. So I'm concerned about my career. So that statement could have went any, any way. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. playing, devil, I'm playing devil, devil's advocate here. Like I said, I um, personally was not there so i'm not telling or saying or doing any of that um oh he did it he didn't do it i don't fucking know what he did i am not remy and i am not um easy to block i just know that <laughs> we literally was watching the battle the battles and then once you once you went to go blog it hit it came to you you know and everything spun out of control from there i just really hope that the situation gets resolved um it eventually, it's going to die down, but better believe just how they drag Rock out for years, his name is going to be drug out. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Yeah, it is because um, I think, well, no, not think, but I know Easy's the only person in Battle Rap that actually listens to bloggers with leaving URL, you know, promoting, you know, doing... All kinds of stuff outside of the machine, and to have it all gone over something like this allegedly would be crazy. But I'm hoping that it didn't go down. But if it did, I mean, I you think it's time. If, if yeah. it happened, you reap what you sow. If you made your bed, you definitely got to lay in it. You know what I'm saying? And one more thing, and I'm gonna close this out. Um, I'm speaking from you know a woman's point of view. Um, let's just say it, it did happen, you know, Remy, um, I don't know her situation or her story or her relationship with her husband, but you know, um, it, when a woman makes room and I'm not going to say easy's an error, but when there's room for error, um, something's not going right at home. Um, and I'm not making excuses for her or anything like that. I just know, like, if your if your marriage, if you're not happy in your marriage, um, there's room for filler. You know what I'm saying? Some, there's there's room for anything. So that part, and then also, if it did happen, 
I just don't understand why everybody is like easy, 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 easy. It takes two. Um, and she was the one married. Not easy. I mean, I ain't saying easy ain't got no wife or no lady at the crib, but you know, it just it's just not right to point a finger at him when it takes two, and she knows that she is um <laughs> a very married woman. But like I said, I don't know how the situation is at home. But usually, if that happened, the home is not good. So there was room for that to even take place. Now, he could have said, nah, you know, you, you married, but if you dead that nigga, yo, let's let's do it happily. You know what I'm saying? If if it did happen, I ain't saying it did. I'm saying if it did happen, you know, but it didn't go that way, you know. Shit, sometimes a nigga is good being a side nigga. He could have looked at her like a sugar mama. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying if it did happen, all the blame cannot be placed on easy and the loyalty stands with Remy to Papoose because that's her husband you know and I've, I've seen people say oh you know why would you know why would he just attack easy and stuff like that and this is I'm gonna say like I tell you if I ever catch you doing something I ain't worrying about you because I can get to you we live together at some point you have to see me but I don't know when I'm gonna see that that female again so let me rock her right now let me get her while i can because i don't know if i'm gonna have this opportunity again so you know if if it did happen that could have been the mind of papoose i know that's my mindset i ain't worrying about you because i'm gonna see you but i don't know when i'm gonna catch this female again so let me get her it could be so many different scenarios man it's it's just crazy it's just crazy yeah this got out of control i just personally wanted to have a blog where I'm showing it from a, a female, a woman's point of view, my wife, and pretty much how she breaks it down is basically, if it did happen, why things might be going the way it is and why it might not be going the way it is. And it's a lot to lose if it did. And she broke it down very well, very well. I mean, and I feel like I did, and some might like it. And some might not. But once again, it's my opinion and I'm entitled to it. Um, I thank y'all for tuning in. And um, like I said, y'all, just stop putting so much energy into this. It's It's been almost a week now. Well, I don't know. What is it? Saturday? Six yeah. Six days. Six days. A couple. You know, it's been almost a week now. You already gathered up the pieces. You already put it together. Some of y'all just too slow to do it. Uh, whichever way, it's it's just time to just like... Say, speak your piece and be done with it. Until he comes on, there's not much more y'all can say. Everybody done speculated the good and the bad. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, I did want to say, basically, um, you know, there's a lot of stories in battle rap, you know, that people believe and not believe. I can go on with plenty of stories down to Nunu and Beasley down to John John and Hollow all alleged and no proof. and this is all alleged you know what I'm saying but there's no audio and there's no footage but you can't change certain people's minds that feel like it's true because of what they feel or whatever evidence they got you know what I'm saying and that comes with battle rap you gotta have tough skin and I think it's time for Easy to man up and do what he got to do to continue his career. Even as a blogger, you have to have tough skin. You know what I mean? You guys put out good news, bad news. You're going to have loyal subscribers. You're going to have subscribers that don't like what you're saying. You're going to have blogger wars. You're going to have some bloggers that respect you. You know what I'm saying? Some bloggers that don't. So the whole battle rap community, you have to have tough skin. You know what I mean? It's not, this is not a sport where um, you could just be emotional. Because once you show those emotions, they're going to eat it up. Alive. You know, um, and one more thing I wanted to say about um, Remy. You know, and, and I'm speaking from a woman's point of view again. You know, it's like when when there's things going on, you know, like 
you being around another man so much, even if it wasn't on purpose for her to start caring for him, if this situation happened, you just, you start, you know, having feelings for somebody because you're around them so much. But remember, that can only happen if home is not right. If home is not right, there's room to for for anything. So, you know, I'm and, and we all human, man. We all human. So she she's not somebody that's, you know, trained to just be, you know, one eye look I mean, no, it's not right to cheat. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's human, man. And like I said, if it happened, I'm not saying it happened. I'm just saying from a woman's point of view, if it happened, you know, it's people cheat every day. You know what I'm saying? It just sucks because, you know, of the status of Remy Martin and, you know, the status of easy to block. I'm not saying it happened and I ain't saying it's right. But like I said, we all human and shit happens. You know what I'm saying? So... That's all I wanted to say, which is from a woman's point of view, you know, because I know people are going to be bashing her um, because it does take two. You know, I'm not going to slide back on what I said. If you're going to bash easy, you do have to bash Remy. It can't be one sided. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there. Like if anything was going on, it could be that, you know, home was not right. And that's usually the case, you know, but. Uh, it, it, it does suck, though, but people cheat every day, man. And no, it's not right. It's not. Especially when you're married, but we are human, and it happens. And my last question I want to ask, um, do you feel like this can possibly end Easy's career? No, I do not think it's going to end his career. Simply because the name that he made for himself, and he does have a lot of fans, it's just he has to come out and really do some damage control for real and you know he's got to understand he's got to wear this on his back now it's going to follow him wherever he goes um i don't feel like it's going to end his career like i said in the beginning of the blog um respect has definitely you know definitely been lost will he ever gain that back i doubt it um but like i said he still does have fans there's still you know battlers that want to battle him definitely now so no i don't see that ending his career i just feel like you know, <clears throat> he just got to wear this on his back now. Forever. Not forever or whenever, but he's going to wear it for a very long time. All right. Well, there goes that blog. This is Surreal. Keeping it real. Giving that better rap media news and update. This is my wife. And just wanted to give you a, a woman's vision on this whole situation. Um, and once again, this is all allegedly, all of it. This is unbiased, not compromised, and it's definitely alleged. Um, and I just hope everybody, you know, just calm down off of it because it's annoying. Good night. Stay blessed. Well, shout out to all the bloggers that's out there putting that work in. Um, there's no biasness over here, no compromise over here. And keep your eyes on these YouTube streets because every day something can happen. But I'm out. Hit that like, share, and bell. One.